Now, sports with Adam Derangowski. Tonight, we got to find out who would be punching their ticket to the state finals at, and for a trip to Lucas Oil Stadium. In 3A, Marion slumped towards the end of the season, losing their final three contests, but turned it on in the postseason, dominating opponents en route to a spot in the semifinals. The Vikings squared off against West Lafayette at Atolsky Field, and they were hyped for this one. As Marion up 3 to nothing already, defense is going to pay off here as they pressure the quarterback, and Joe Rovato is going to get the pick and find, and he's going to turn on the Jets right here, working his way back towards the middle of the field, and he will take it all the way to the house. Marion would take a 10 to nothing lead thanks to the touchdown into the halftime locker room. But the Red Devils would storm back in the second. Mikey Kidwell, after the interception, lobs it up to Nay Carlson, who makes a great grab inside the five. And that's going to set up this play. Travis Roll from the two-yard line punches it in, and West Lafayette only trails by three, but not for long. It's Kidwell again, and he's going to heave it up to Matt Marley and check out this grab. A wild over-the-shoulder catch as he falls into the end zone. And the Devils take a 14-10 lead. So last chance for the Knights here, backed up on their own goal line. Bryce Tomasi throws it over the middle and gets picked off. Marion falls in dramatic fashion to West Lafayette, 14-10. They've come a long way. They're, uh, they're champions, they're regional champions. Some that only other, uh, a few other schools in the uh, in, uh, school, other teams in our school history have done. Uh, you know, we fell a little short, but they got nothing to be uh, ashamed of. St. Joe had an unlikely road to get to the 4A semi-state. The Indians struggled early on in the finishing in the regular season slate with a sub-500 record. But St. Joe stuck to the plan, and it earned them a string of victories and a spot in the semifinal to take on Fort Wayne Bishop Dwenger. The Indians upset number one Lowell to reach the 4A semi-state tonight at Layton Stadium. They would struggle a little bit early. Here, Dwenger punting, and St. Joe is not going to be able to hang on to the football and the Saints are going to pounce on it, recovering inside the five-yard line, and that will set up this play. Blake Podshine lowers his pads on the QB sneak and puts it in for six. Dwenger would build a two-score lead. Then St. Joe will get on the board. Our OSA this week, Tony Carmola, drops back and hits Mark Madden for the 10-yard touchdown, and the Indians pull back to within one score. But the Saints pull away thanks to some tough running. They give it to Amon Clark, who's just 5'6", but gets wrapped up and breaks free, rumbling his way into the end zone. And Dwanger will end an incredible run for St. Joe by a final of 41-7. St. Joe finishes the year with a record of 8-8.